Great. And last up is Daniel Kamesh from Polytechnics Canada. I think I have to bring this up independently. So good afternoon, everyone. I'll try to keep this short and sweet for Friday afternoon. My name is Daniel Komesh. I'm the Director of Policy at Polytechnics Canada. We are a national not-for-profit of 13 polytechnics across the country uh, from Ontario West, uh, seven here in the GTA. And we are based in Ottawa, uh, belying our reputation as a boring town, a little bit more exciting these last few uh, days. And we sit in Ottawa and we advocate for our 13 members on issues related to skills, workforce development, uh, business innovation, and talent. And just looking at those uh, four words right there, you can probably guess why we're interested in the world of micro-credentials and badges. Uh, we are super new to it ourselves, and I think that our igniter in this whole uh, adventure has been Humber. So huge thanks to Humber for being um, a leader in this space. So about two years ago, our organization decided to see how we could work as a collective to leverage all that we are as a network uh, to deliver solutions to a national skills or employment challenge. And we you know, pitched a bunch of ideas, and a couple of them actually failed. But last summer, uh, we put micro-credentials on the table. And you should have seen the excitement in uh, everyone's eyes across all 13 institutions. Everyone was like, oh my god, that's such a great idea, even though some folks were a lot uh, further ahead in the game than others. So what we're trying to do now, it's a little bit uh, experimental and ambitious, but is to design a micro-credential that can be delivered at each of the 13 institutions across the country and that uh, responds to some sort of employer demand. So we've done a little bit of research in labor market intelligence and we realized uh, that there's huge demand for, I don't know if RBC is still here, but those human skills, soft skills, or employability skills. So I can go into maybe more detail at the table uh, a little bit later, but we're hoping to deliver uh, a micro-credential in one of the soft or employability skills. Uh, where we're at right now is just sort of the, the research and experimentation phase, so getting down to that nitty-gritty work. So a uh, huge thanks to all the folks in the room that are uh, in, our, in our group that are working on this. I know it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot of work, and it's not the, the fun or sexy stuff right now, but we will, uh, we will get there. So being, being so uh, early into this, I won't go into a whole lot of preamble. I'll just put the challenge to all of you uh, folks who know a whole lot more about this than I do. Uh, how do you build a pan-Canadian multi-institutional micro-credential? Uh, what are the major obstacles that we should be considering? Uh, who should we consider partnering with? And what resources uh, should we be seeking out? That's the challenge. Uh, we're at table number three. Really look forward to your insights on that. Just because I have two minutes left, I want to give uh, a quick shout out. I heard the name uh, Ryan Craig going around a lot this morning. He's going to be at our annual conference in Vancouver on May 15 and 16. So if anyone wants to come to Vancouver and see him, you should join us there. Thank you very much.